When this cat stalked a massive moose in Alaska, it sparked an unexpected showdown. Tammy Simpson knew Ginger wasn't the best hunter, but there was one exception – baby moose. Over the years, the cat has become obsessed with watching the creatures from the porch. And then one day, Ginger hunkered down into a stalking position and silently approached the calves. Big cats are expert hunters, and even their domesticated relatives are efficient little killing machines when they want to be. They are renowned for bringing hunting trophies back to you and leaving them on your porch. Not all cats are very good at it, though. Take Ginger, for example. According to her human, Tammy Simpson, even though Ginger is an adult, she never understood the food chain. She hasn't figured out how to hunt, Simpson told the dodo, despite the fact that she's seven years old. In fact, Ginger is a bit of a scaredy cat when it comes to almost every aspect of life. She doesn't like it when her mommy moves things around the house and socks freak her out. Because of her anxiety issues, the predator lifestyle isn't for her. That suited Simpson just fine, and it was the kind of company she needed. She said, I was very sick for a very long time. You know, people exhausted me. Ginger likes to cuddle, and so cats are good healing companions. That's also why it both surprised and worried Simpson when Ginger began stalking wild animals. Simpson lives in Homer, Alaska, and regularly gets moose visiting her property. Ginger took a great interest in their comings and goings and paid special attention to the moose calves. Moose don't actively target people unless they get too close or act threatening. Domestic animals are another matter entirely, especially when it comes to dogs. Moose see dogs as dangerous predators and they sometimes even seek them out to try and trample them. Furthermore, mother moose are more aggressive when they are with their calves, adding an extra dimension to the danger. Simpson uploaded the first video of Ginger's moose watching hobby on June 2, 2013. It was around that time that the animals piqued her interest. Simpson had described how Ginger has since become obsessed with moose and observes them every chance she gets. If I pointed out to her, I'm like, hey, there's a moose. She's out on the deck ready to watch them, Simpson said. But Ginger doesn't need much encouragement. Like, if she sees one from the window or from the glass door, she's ready to go, Simpson revealed. However, Ginger wasn't content to just watch the moose from afar. One day, she became so fascinated with the calves, she wanted to get a closer look. Ginger's first encounter with the moose didn't go so well. She got into position and exchanged glances with the moose family for a time. But when one of the moose made to approach her, the cat took off running for the porch. Despite this setback, however, Ginger remained as curious as ever. On June 9, 2015, Simpson told the Anchorage Daily News that the behavior initially made her nervous. I hold my breath every time and hope she's quick enough to get out of any sticky situations, she said. Ginger's stalking methods begin with a mad dash down the garden to get closer to the moose. At a certain range, though, she slows right down and goes into prey stalking mode. But despite her behavior, Ginger's made no attempt to pounce on the moose. In fact, her attention seems to be a show of affection for the moose. Although Ginger's fascinated by all moose visitors, she's most enthusiastic about watching the calves. It seems like when there's babies in particular, she likes to head out there, Simpson told the dodo. And it looks like the feeling's mutual. The calves seem to have just as much interest in Ginger. After an uncertain start, two young moose got used to the cat's visits. Subsequently, they came even closer to the house in search of Ginger. But experts don't seem to agree with Ginger's actions, especially Jesse Coltrane from the Alaska Department of Fish and Game. Young moose are very vulnerable, the wildlife biologist told the Anchorage Daily News, and mothers are especially aggressive this time of year. In contrast, Simpson told the dodo that moose have no problem with Ginger's attention. She's not bothering them, Simpson explained, like I've never seen a moose get really upset. The one mother who had two twins, she just didn't care. On the other hand, Ginger has always been an eccentric cat with some endearing, if unusual, habits. She likes to put paper in her water dish and just kind of move it around, Simpson told the dodo. Her attempts to get attention are unique, too. She won't meow or anything, Simpson continued. She'll get really close to your face and just stare. And eventually it wakes you up, like you can sense something's there. It's very terrifying. It makes me jump every time. On March 14, 2018, Simpson uploaded another YouTube video revealing that Ginger is still up to her old tricks. Perhaps the moose knows she doesn't mean them any harm, or maybe they're just not threatened by her. Either way, Ginger seems happy that she can get close to the objects of her affection. <laughs>